Lung cancer is an abnormal growth in the lungs, so it can be a small nodule or it can be a big mass. The high-risk individuals would include patients who smoke. So it would depend on the number of pack years. So if they smoke a lot and for a long time, they are at increased risk. Also, those who are passive smokers or those with secondhand exposure are at increased risk. If you have a family member with lung cancer, it also increases your risk. Working in coal mines, those with exposure to asbestos, those with exposure to diesel, steel, iron. Um, also, if you have a previous history of cancer in other parts of the body. Also, if you have received radiation treatment for other diseases, you will also have a risk factor for lung cancer. Age is also taken into account since lung cancer are usually seen in patients more than 60 years old. That is why we have to screen patients who are heavy smokers of this age. So the symptoms of lung cancer would include cough, if you cough out blood, if you have shortness of breath, if you have chest pain, difficulty breathing. But sometimes people will not have any symptoms. Uh, they will just present with abnormal x-rays and that is still a possibility of having a lung cancer. Then the best approach would be to do a lung cancer screening. So we have this in the medical city wherein we do a low-dose chest CT scan. To screen for abnormalities that cannot be detected by chest x-ray. Now, if there are abnormalities seen in the CT scan, there are now a comprehensive array of options for the patients to choose on how to get tissue samples for a diagnosis of lung cancer. And these options are... Number one is bronchoscopy. We insert a scope to your lungs, then get samples from the mass. Number two is to do a CT-guided biopsy, wherein you puncture a needle through the skin to get the sample. Number three would be an open lung surgery, wherein they get a sample during surgery. Depending on the abnormality, state-of-the-art innovations are now available in the Philippines to help lung cancer patients diagnose their disease can help patients undergo a procedure which is a minimally invasive procedure. Specifically, the endobronchial ultrasound or EBUS is now available to diagnose and to biopsy the cancer sites. Treatment for lung cancer depends on the stage of the cancer. If it's early, the treatment can be surgical resection. However, if it has spread to other parts of your body, for example, the lymph nodes or to other distant sites, we may need to do chemotherapy and radiation. Nowadays, there are also molecular targeted therapies. Doctors and scientists are developing additional treatment options to make treatment for lung cancer more personalized. The number one coping mechanism that we ask them to do is to have hope because lung cancer, even if it's in a late stage, would still have treatment. Coping with the disease, especially lung cancer, entails not only a comprehensive understanding of the disease process, but also of the patient's wishes for himself and tailoring our treatment options according to what the patient wants. The support of family, friends, and other support groups is also significant in helping a lung cancer patient cope with his or her disease. Lung cancer is a deadly disease. It spreads fast without you even knowing. So detect and cure it early. Lower your risk. If you have difficulty quitting smoking, we have a scrap program in the pulmonary medicine department which can assist you in quitting smoking. I encourage all smokers to quit smoking. The earliest time, the better. Smoking not only harms yourself, but also the people around you, especially your family. So quit smoking while you still can.